at the sort of really high really high speeds it's all right to be fair it handles well it sort of holds, holds the road it's, it's, it's amazing how quick it gets there yeah and that's the one thing with a car like this as much as you've got loads of horsepower you've got to be a little bit careful a because it's it's probably quite sort of sketchy on the limit and b you know it's a, it's a license losing machine but you've got to respect it don't you a little bit yeah Have you had this R33 form? Yeah, about 18 months now. 18 months, just yeah. under two years. And it's an R33 GTST. Yeah. Yeah, so it's rear wheel drive. Yeah, that's what you should be. <laughs> What's it like getting traction down? Um, to be honest, with the tyres and that and the setup, it's a lot better. swap over now, Gaz shit himself so we had to put him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but the one thing I will say about Shane's car is it's very clean inside, a lot of these older Skylines sometimes have cracked dashes um, or they live just quite sort of hard lives and the interior is in sort of really bad condition but Shane's car is really really clean. And then brakes on this you were saying you got their stock calipers but bigger discs and different pads? They're bigger discs and they're ABC blue stuff pads. Okay. Yeah. And then how do you find the braking Shane, like adequate for the power? I think it's fantastic.
we popped off to this beautiful, serene location to have a little chat with Shane and his monstrous R33. First things first, Shane, let's have a look at the engine bay because this thing is pretty electric. So this is obviously RB25. Yeah. Um, but I'm taking it fully fully forged. Fully forged. Um, Tony, pond drop here, cams dropping. Um, forged rods, forged pistons. Uh, thicker red gas, I think it's 1.6 or 1.8. Yeah. Cosworth, oh. everything's all fresh, everything's Full new. Full refresh, yeah, 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 nice man. And then what about the turbo? Uh, it's a Borgo one, it works S300. What are they rated to? That's, that one's rated to 1,000. 1,000 horsepower, crazy. Yeah. And you're all running one, about 1.8 bar at the moment? 1.8 bar, yeah. Which nets you just under 700 wheel horsepower. Yeah. the fueling side Shane? It's got Nismo 750 injectors, okay. uh, R35 GTR pump and obviously um, the Link G4 Plus CCU. Nice man. Cooling wise you've got a aftermarket aluminium red. Yeah, um, aftermarket front mount intercooler, um, AEM intake. Turbo's externally wastegated? Yeah, externally wastegated. I think it's a turbo smart one. Turbo smart. Obviously extreme screwing pipe on it. Yeah, and what size? 60? 64 mil. 64, that's quite quite big, fair play man. And then what about the exhaust system? It's got six boost manifold on it. And then a 3.5 inch blitz near spec nice exhaust. Yeah, nice yeah. The intake on this isn't standard? No, it's got a Grady intake on it. Okay, so uprated inlet manifold. Yeah. I mean, what are the restrictions on the RB25? I mean, you were sort of saying in the car, you were running before on a stock one, about 500 horsepower? Yeah. And that was reliable, seemed to work okay? Yeah, it worked obviously a while. Obviously, the previous owner obviously kicked the shit out of it for that many years. Yeah, and then you, what happened? The bearings went? Yeah, bearings went to the bottom end. Yeah, and that's what sort of pushed you into doing yeah. a full forge rebuild, yeah. Coil overs on this are um, yellow speeds? Yeah, yellow speeds, and then the TI Motorsports, obviously set the alignment up. It stays in a straight line, but... Yeah, you are saying before it was kind of a little bit, went all over the place. Yeah, a bit of Larry, obviously. Lane, <laughs> yeah, well, it's got a lot... It's got choose a... this lane. <laughs> <laughs> in stock form, what did the GTST come with? Yeah, about 250. 250, so yeah. you're basically three times the original <laughs> yeah. power output. Amazing to think this chassis can actually cope with the power. Yeah. I mean, sort of testament to, to Nissan, really, isn't it? Power levels wise, are you kind of happy where it is? Because you were saying you can push a bit more with this engine. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about getting a little bit more. Obviously, it was just a fuel pump restriction. Yeah. I needed a hard wire it in, which has been done now. Technically, you could maybe run like two, maybe two bar. Two bar, easy. Yeah. And what kind of horsepower would you expect with that? I reckon about 720 wheel horsepower. Yeah, so probably knocking on not far off 800. Yeah. One thing I will say is traction on this was pretty impressive for a rear wheel drive car. What size are the tires? They're 265 35s. And they're a Yokohama 808? yeah. Good man. Ours. And the wheels? They're Rotors GTRDs. One thing I will say about Shane's car is he's kind of left the lines of the R33 pretty clean. He's running a GTR inspired body kit. So you've got rear bumper, side skirts, and front bumper as well. Also a GTR rear spoiler with a cheeky little logo underneath. Little look in the interior, Shane, before we go out and do a bit more John action. You've got the original GTS-T seats. Yeah. Nardi steering wheel. Yeah. And then up here, you've got your tablet for your Link ECU. And then what about this little AM controller? Yeah, that controls obviously the water meth, but obviously it runs pure methanol. Over there, you've got a, was that a gizmo, gizmo. boost gauge? Yeah. And what on earth is that? Because that looks like it's cool. <laughs> and obviously low map and then obviously Switch it obviously with your Heimer. Oh, that's to do high and low boost. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. It's like a sort of fighter plane toggle yeah. switch. I love that, man. That's cool. That should give you guys a basic insight on the car. We're now going to crack on and do a bit more. John? So first things we're going to do is go and get some petrol because we spent all day doing this review and Shane's got no fuel left. So that's the first port of call. Just get my used to it. Okay. <laughs> first thing I'm going to say is the clutch is pretty extreme. Oh, the pops and bags are crazy, isn't it? You must scare, scare people in your area now. <laughs> yeah. Accelerate. 
How you doing in the back, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's very quiet in the car all of a sudden, man. Oh, what a fucking machine. <laughs> I think that's because you're always putting your foot down, Shane. <laughs> God, it's crazy, and that's just, we're not, we're literally just driving it normally to get all that sound. It's mad, man. I think you were the first person to get 20 out of 10 in a car review. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Oh, shit, yeah, Gaz was 21 out of 10. I will say, though, if anyone out there is watching and you've got a big horsepower car and you want to get it on the channel like Shane, um, feel free to give us a shout. We'll always put a lot of uh, lot of time into doing our reviews and make them pretty special. So hopefully Shane can look back in 30 years' time and watch it with his grandkids and be proud that he did a Monkey London video. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if anyone's watching, big horsepower car, give us a shout. The heavens have opened a little bit now, so we've got to be slightly on the cautious side. I'm guessing it's sketchy in the wet. <laughs> Tell me this car, man. <laughs> I think that just about wraps this review up. We're starting to lose a bit, little bit of light. Um, John's been a bit erratic, and I think Shane shit himself. <laughs> no, Shane's been an absolute legend. Really appreciate you bringing the car down, man. Exactly. You've been an absolute star. And the fact they drove for four hours to come and see us, yeah, massive, massive kudos deserved. A big up, Mr. Gaz. Nice one. Thanks Cheers. for A, bringing the Pulsar down, and thanks for obviously putting us in contact with, with, with Shane. Really no appreciate it. Mr. Charlie. Thank you very much for your lovely camera work today. If you guys are wondering why this video looks absolutely mental, um, it's because we had Mr. Charlie doing some of the filming today. We're now gonna do a bit of a fill up. It's probably your favorite place, Shell Petrol Station. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to give me a like, put any comments down below, I'll do my best to get back to you, and we will see you soon.